I'm not a tech prodigy. I'm not a genius who dropped out of high school or college to code up my own startup, sold it for a bunch of money and became a millionaire by my mid twenties. I'm not the best at Excel, SQL, Python or Tableau, yet I'm a pretty damn good data analyst. Now, don't get me wrong, my technical skills are very good, but certainly not the best. And that's okay. Being a data analyst is about a lot more than cleaning and transforming data and building reports and dashboards. There are many other aspects of the job that are just as important, if not more important, than the pure data analyst technical skills. So for all of you out there who are struggling with learning something technical, getting rejected by companies failing to answer interview questions, let me just say that it's okay. Don't let success define you. Let how you come back from mistakes, rejections, and failures be the true measure of who you are. I remember when I first started working, I was so focused on learning the right technical skills that I concentrated solely on carrying out solutions that others had already provided, answering questions that others came up with, building dashboards and reports that others had asked for. I didn't critically think for myself. I didn't investigate for myself. I didn't do a deep dive on the analysis myself. So make sure you learn from my mistake and think for yourself. The biggest difference between my current ways of working compared to when I was more junior is that I'm able to take a step back now and think about the bigger picture. I'm able to ask the business critical questions now. I identify the problems, come up with proposals and detailed plans, connect with the right people and teams, and carry out building the solutions using my technical expertise. Five years ago, my manager would have asked me a question like this. Mo, can you please refresh the dashboard for the latest data and change the column chart? To a bar chart. Whereas now, my manager would ask me something like this. Mo, can you please connect with the right people to come up with a pan data management dashboard with business critical metrics that we can use internally and distribute externally as well? I became the kind of data analyst who can drive projects, operate with vague questions and very little instructions, navigate the boundaries between teams, someone who can take the initiative, take ownership and responsibility to deliver solutions for my stakeholders. And whilst I'm on the topic of delivering solutions, let me quickly show you how Skyvia's 100% cloud-based platform can help you unlock the potential of your data. Like I said, it's fully cloud-based, giving you the agility and scalability you want while saving you the hassle of deployment and manual upgrades. Its no-code interface caters for both IT professionals and business users with zero technical skills. Skyvia also offers flexible pricing plans to fit various budgets, whether it's data integration, data management, real-time data access, or data backup you're after, Skyvia's got you covered. The best part about it? You can do all of this in one single data platform. I spend so much of my time looking for data sets and connecting to various databases. So having all data in a single database, plus the ability to analyze it with pretty much whatever tool I want is super easy and convenient. Real-time analytics? No problem. Easy to use ELT? Does configure in two minutes sound good enough? So. Are you ready to redefine your data platform? With Black Friday around the corner, there's no better time. Check out the link in the description below to find out more. I've also learned how valuable, precise, and accurate communication is, which brings me on to one of my greatest assets, if not the greatest, the ability to connect with both technical and non-technical audiences. I believe if you're truly an expert in your field, you should be able to explain whatever you're doing right now in a way that a six-year-old could understand, and also in a way that would satisfy all the technical needs of your fellow tech-savvy colleagues like data analysts, data scientists, data engineers, or software engineers. Working with people is one of the hardest, if not the hardest part of the job, and delivering complex messages in the simplest possible way is a skill upon which many people build entire careers. CEOs, executives, and senior managers are high up the ladder, not necessarily because they have the most technical skills, but because they have the ability to communicate clearly, deliver complex messages in simple ways to pull everyone in the same direction and create a sense of purpose, a sense of togetherness. So make sure to work on your communication skills, whether it's interviews, meetings, presentations, or workshops. You wanna deliver your thoughts in an organized and simple manner. You wanna tailor your message to your audience to make it easy for them to digest the information. Even if it's just an instant message, remember that you're at work. So don't just type whatever comes to your mind first, organize your thoughts and write precise and accurate messages. Trust me, this approach of taking your time to double check what you wanna communicate will save you tons of back and forth conversations. 
And just to touch on the technical skills, like I said, I'm certainly not the best at Excel, SQL, Python, or Tableau, but I'm certainly very good at them. Now, this wasn't always the case. In fact, when I started my first job, I had absolutely zero technical skills. I barely knew what a spreadsheet was. I think my experience just goes to show that if you're willing to put in the time and the effort, you will get better. I'm just a normal guy. I'm by no means a tech genius or a data scientist aspirant who sees the world in matrices and vectors. I simply put in an enormous amount of work, stay disciplined and focused, not for a day or a month, or a year. I'm talking about consecutive years here. So please practice your skills as much as possible and as often as possible. Make sure you build really strong foundations. As a data analyst, there might be times when you'll use a certain tool less frequently or maybe stop using it completely for a while. So the ability to pick things up again is really important. I had a period when I basically didn't write a single line of code in Python for a year, but was able to jump back in in less than a day as I was able to utilize the strong Python foundational skills and knowledge that I already acquired. I've always been quite a techie person, whether it's trying out new phones and laptops or testing new data tools or learning cool functions. I was always curious and enjoyed taking in the new information. I feel really lucky that I get to work in data analytics and do something I have a genuine passion for. I try my best at work to pass on this passion by helping others with their own data journeys. It's hard for me to think of a job where you're not exposed to data in some way, shape, or form, so being able to help people understand the importance of good quality data, good data culture, good data ethics is an agenda that's close to my heart. I really enjoy enabling others to utilize the full potential of the data they have available to them. Say I built a dashboard full of actionable insights. If my end users, my business stakeholders, don't know how to use the filters or where to click, then my dashboard failed to help them make business critical decisions. Upskilling my stakeholders on how to use Tableau dashboards so that they can get crucial insights out of their own data would ultimately lead to better and faster decision making for them. It sounds cliche, but be the change you want to see. Be the driver of data culture change. Use your data skills and knowledge and help others start or accelerate their own data journey. Also, make sure you treat others the way you'd want to be treated. Make strong connections, build your network, as oftentimes in the corporate world, it's not about what you know, but who you know. Stay close with your business stakeholders and SMEs, as at the end of the day, they are the ones you build those reports and dashboards for and present your ad hoc analysis back to. It's always good to expand your business knowledge and learn extensively about the industry you're in. My strong background in finance certainly helps me big time in my day-to-day -day job. And I'm not thinking about groundbreaking knowledge here. It's more so the all-round knowledge of how financial markets work, how interest rate changes move the markets, why bond prices and yields move in opposite directions. It's more basic knowledge like this that helps a lot. I don't need to figure out what banking metrics are first before I can move on to actually using the data, analyzing it, and extract meaningful information. Of course, don't forget to expand your network of techie people either, as knowing fellow data analysts, data scientists, and data engineers also comes in really handy. You can turn to your data analyst colleagues to discuss similar issues you're facing, share knowledge, or learn from your mistakes together. You can turn to other data scientists if you have really technical questions around machine learning or A-B testing, for example. You can reach out to your data engineer colleagues if you're not sure about how to connect to data sources, as they'll definitely be the experts on that given their job is to design systems, databases, and data flows. To close, I just want you to know that it's okay to struggle with learning the technical skills. It's okay to doubt yourself at times. It's okay to be rejected, to fail at interviews, to make a mistake. But make sure you learn from each rejection, each failure, each mistake, and improve something about yourself. Remember, being a data analyst is about a lot more than knowing how to do stuff in Excel, SQL, Python, or Tableau. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to check out some of my other content right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you.